some people just don't understand sharing. But with Cell One, sharing is simple. Introducing Cell One's new share plans, perfect for families and friends. For only $89, two people share unlimited in-network calling, unlimited BlackBerry social, and a bunch of anytime minutes and text messages. Plus, you can add your boy or anyone else for only $9. Cell One, the power of more. Hello and welcome to Newsbite, Bermuda's only weekly news wrap-up brought to you by the Bermuda Sun. I'm Michaela Pearman. Our top stories. In politics, is Ralph Comision unelectable? A leaked email said he was removed from the ballot of the Pembroke Southeast seat by PLP branch bosses only to be put back on at the 11th hour. Mr. Comision went on to win the seat over long-serving MP Astro Devent. But branch chairman Dr. Kaiwan Brown said Mr. Comision does not have his support and claimed everyone who voted for him had been signed up by the candidate recently. There were more moves within the PLP this week as the party held a series of primary elections to decide who will stand at the next election. Speaker of the House Stanley Lowe lost his seat to Zane De Silva. Darius Tucker also lost his seat to newcomer Diallo Rabain. But veteran MP Randy Horton kept his seat despite a challenge from lawyer Mark Daniels. And Nalitha Butterfield also kept her seat, fending off David Burt. Minister Kim Wilson won veteran MP Walter Lister's seat as he is set to retire. In the courts, a woman who scammed BF&M of almost $80,000 was jailed for 16 months. 36-year-old Chandima Arachiji submitted insurance claims for surgery she claimed were performed in her homeland of Sri Lanka. But get this, she was actually still in Bermuda. Senior Magistrate Archibald Warner called the scheme callous and sophisticated. In business, Digicel Bermuda has bought our internet company Transact. Digicel CEO Wayne Kane said the company would now offer long-distance services and that the move is part of solidifying Digicel as Bermuda's number one telecommunications provider. While summer is almost over, that hasn't stopped a new barbecue eatery from opening next to the ferry terminal. The smoking barrel serves up ribs, jerk chicken, and fish, and more every day until 11 p.m. They are open later on the weekends. On a more somber note, police are preparing a file for the Department of Public Prosecutions in the death of Nasir Burgess, the 18-month-old baby found dead in a nursery last week. An autopsy has determined that he did not die of natural causes. Father Corey Burgess said the family is not taking the death well. In tourism, Vagrants about the city of Hamilton are promoting a negative view of the island to visitors. This is according to the Corporation of Hamilton, who say they are working alongside police to deal with this issue. As shown in these photos, cruise ship passengers are often greeted by Bermuda's homeless as they come through the ferry terminal and the visitor information center. In the arts, spoken word artist Stephen Johnston is celebrating the launch of a new album tonight entitled Labrago. Mr. Johnston says it mixes personal stories with myth, love, sex, romance, and more. Tonight's party will be held at Chewstick from 8 p.m. This is his third album, and the release coincides with his 28th birthday. In news briefs, Miss Bermuda Jenna Otterbridge will host a party tomorrow night at Docksiders to raise money to attend the Miss World pageant in London. Police say visitor 79-year-old Joe Alston of Georgia died while snorkeling. His death was a result of drowning. 23-year-old J. Cody Steed was jailed for two years for stalking a woman who looked like his deceased girlfriend. And O'Brien Gibbons and Sean Evans were charged with breaking into a Southampton home with a fake gun. In sports, MCC will open its tour against Bermuda on Sunday at 3 p.m. at the National Sports Center. The MCC will play against Bermuda in eight matches over the next two weeks. And in football, Tickets are now on sale for the Bermuda Trinidad World Cup qualifying game on October 7. And the weather, last chance to swim? Saturday looks sunny with a high of 84 degrees and Sunday looks partly cloudy with a high of 83. Perfect weather for that final wrapped up. That's all for this week. Catch me on channel 82 over the weekend. Read these stories and much more at bermudasun.bm. See you next Friday.